Hi, in this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Endeavor OS in VirtualBox on a Windows 11 host operating system. If you do not have VirtualBox already installed, you will need to go to the VirtualBox website. I will have the link to VirtualBox in the description, or you could type in the address right here. So once you are on this page, you will want to select Download VirtualBox 7.0 and once that is downloaded, open up the .exe file and follow the prompts. Once you have that installed, then we'll move over to Endeavor OS. Again, I will have the link in the description or you could grab this link here. Once on this page, you're going to want to go down and select Download or you can scroll down. So down here you'll see the mirror list. Go ahead and find the country that fits you best. For me, I will be selecting USA and I will go ahead and hit download under ISO. Once you have those two things downloaded, then we could go ahead and open up VirtualBox. This is the screen that you should see once you have VirtualBox installed. So to get started, we'll go ahead and select New. And down here, this is where you could enter the name of your virtual machine. I will go ahead and name this Endeavor OS. And in the next field is the folder of which you want your VM to be located. Next is the ISO image. We're going to want to click the drop down here and go to other and locate the ISO file that we just downloaded. As you can see, I have it right here. So I'll double click that and there it is. Next, I'll change the type. I'll change this to Linux. And down here, I will go ahead and select Arch as Endeavor is an Arch based Linux distro. And we'll go ahead and hit next. So this is the screen where we could allocate how much resources we want to give to the virtual machine. So for memory, I'll go ahead and give it four gigabytes. For CPU, I'll go ahead and give it three cores. You can give this however many you want, as long as it meets the minimum requirements. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And this is the screen where we could allocate how much disk space we want to give it. So I will go ahead and come in here and give it 50. I believe the minimum requirements for Endeavor is 15, so do what you will with that. So here's the summary screen. If everything looks good, then we could go ahead and hit finish. If there's anything you'd like to change, you could go back, but you will also be able to change these settings when we hit finish. So here's our virtual machine that we created. We'll come in here and hit settings if there's anything that you want to change now. There is one thing that I would like to change. Come into display and max out video memory. I find that this runs my virtual machines a lot smoother, so this is what I do every time. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we will start up the VM. Here we have some options. We have Endeavor OS Default, Endeavor OS NVIDIA, and Endeavor OS Fallback. We will be using Endeavor OS Default. If you were installing Endeavor OS on physical hardware that included an NVIDIA graphics card, then you would want to select this option here. But we will go ahead and continue with Default. All right, so now that we are in Endeavor, now we could go ahead and proceed with our install. So we'll go ahead and select Start the Installer. Now here we're provided with two options, the online method and the offline method. As you can see, the online method allows us to choose our desktop, whether that be KDE, XFCE, or any other sort of environment. And the offline method is limited to KDE desktop. So we'll go ahead and select online. So here's our installer. 
go ahead and select the language that you want to use. I'll be using American English. And when you are ready, you may select next. And here's the time zone. We'll actually expand this a little bit so we can see the full screen. So I will go ahead and leave the time zone as default. You may select a different one if you are in a different region. We'll go ahead and select next. And here you can select the keyboard that you're using. I'm using English US, so I'll leave that alone and click next. And this is where we could choose our environment. Here you can see we have quite a bit of options. I personally like using KDE, which is what I'm going to show for this demo, but you may select any of the other ones that you feel the best with. So I'll go ahead and click next. And here's some extra packages. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as default, but you may play around with this and select and unselect some of these things. And here we could choose if we want a bootloader or not. I'm not going to mess with this. I'm gonna leave this as default, so I'll go ahead and click next. And we'll just erase the whole disk. And don't worry about erasing any sensitive data as this is living in allocated space to the virtual machine and has no access to any outside information. So go ahead and select next. Here we could create our account. So we'll give ourselves a name. I will say my name is Endeavor. And then there's our username down below and the name of our system. And I'll go ahead and select a password. Now this password doesn't need to be a complicated password, this just needs to be something that you can remember. So I will just do Endeavor as my password. Perfect. And you can log in automatically without a password if you want to, but I will leave that alone. And I will use the same password for the administrator account as well. So go ahead and click next when you're ready. And here's a summary of everything that we filled in. If everything looks all right, we may proceed, but if something doesn't look good to you, then you may go back and change it. And we'll go ahead and install that now. Once Endeavor is finished installing, we could go ahead and hit restart now. Go ahead and click done. So here you can see our bootloader. We have some advanced options, or we could just boot straight into Endeavor OS. We'll go ahead and hit enter on that. And here we are. We'll go ahead and enter in a password we created earlier, which in our case was Endeavor. And there we go. Here's our welcome screen. Here we can update our mirrors, change the display resolution, and many other options. So we'll actually come in here and update our mirrors. You can either choose Arch-based or Endeavor OS. I will select Endeavor OS. So now here we could go ahead and enter in the root password, which is what we created earlier. And once that's done, we could go ahead and hit enter and close this window. Next, we'll want to update the system. So we'll go ahead and come over here, select update. And here we'll enter in our password.
And now that we're done here, we could close this window. And we could close this welcome screen. Or if we don't want this to pop up again, we could hit don't show me anymore. And just like that, Endeavor is installed. And if we want to resize the screen, we can do so without installing any sort of guest additions. And with that being said, your Endeavor installation is complete.